I just pulled in Merritt here, and I have the drive lines for Edison Motors Chuck Carl. And right there. Look at them. I fit two drive lines on the floor of my cab in my pickup. So I got here this morning. I came out here to help. And because there is rumor that it could be done a little earlier than expected. So I wanted to give a hand there if I can. And then I'm just turning onto Chase's Road, and he got the phone call that the drive lines were ready in Kamloops, where I, I just drove from. But they needed to get picked up, so that's a pretty good job for me to do. Like, I'm not very mechanical, and these guys are smart and, and, and mechanical. So a good job for me to help out would be Hotshot Parts. Yeah, probably the best they could have used me. So that worked out well. And I'm just coming back on my second trip here now with the drive lines. And I think hopefully we got to put them in. Yeah, this worked out perfect today so far. A yeah. couple things I love doing is hot shotting. And uh, another thing I'm used to doing is laying in mud replacing drive lines. Okay, we got the first cup. So let's get the one cup started. Okay, try that. There's a lot more strap there now. Okay. We barely got that much blood in it. <laughs> I get it on this corner down here. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is just off. I'll get the guys to come in with an angle grinder. I've done that myself a couple times now. Just like to, oh. It's just off just a touch. Just oh, there we go. Thanks. And just give her a little snug. Yeah. I, uh, just so they don't come loose. We'll torque them all up later. Yeah, that the idea is it, it has to be sitting in properly now, right this way. Yep. Okay, well, I, I'm not tightening it yet. Is there in enough to hold? Do we want to tighten it? This top one feels like not really overly impressed with the thread, but I yeah, don't think it's... I think we're good there. Just to just do her snug and we'll rotate it all around and let her settle. As long as it holds that cup in for us to rotate it without her falling out. All right. Yeah. Do you need to rotate? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Which way are we going? Clockwise? Uh, oh, let's go the other way, actually. Okay. Right there. Okay, that's perfect. I can get my cockpit now. Yeah. How's the YouTube coming? Not super small. Uh, what, I have like 400 something subscribers, so you can't really do anything yet. You have to have a thousand to unlock going live. And that's kind of what I'm hoping to do because you can go live with GoPro. And that gives you so much better quality. And, and I've been trying to start a YouTube for Edison, but I don't have the time to do any of the editing or anything like that. Or do the filming. <laughs> I like doing that stuff. Yeah, we, we really... Well, I'd, fuck, I'd volunteer to come film things if you guys... Had ideas. I love. Oh, yeah. I love doing that. I actually have my, and then I got Final Cut Pro for editing stuff. And like, I'm not great on it. I'm just learning. I don't have training or anything. But I, I like doing it. Like on my time off, that's what I'll go do. So it kind of. I just find I get so mentally, I get so involved in the task I'm doing, I forget to do the filming for the task I'm doing. You need a guy like me. I do. We do. We do need a guy like you. And Come I, on, you can be the Edison Motors YouTube guy. That'd be cool. Yeah, you can be the Edison Motors and. Because Edison Motors YouTube will 100% get a bunch of followers and promote your own through Edison. Yeah. Well, okay, I'll take you up on that. Fuck yeah. So that we, kills two birds with one stone on that one. We should uh, have to think of some ideas what you want. And well, it'd be nice when we get the truck rolling. That like we could film this last few processes, put batteries, drive shafts in, all that good stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay. Oh no, hold on. So I don't, I don't need to actually. Uh, we're doing pretty good right now. Nope, nope, it's weird. It's black, eh? Yep. 
I don't. I don't. Oh, I am in. I'm in. Did you get your gold teeth? Uh, no, you're not in yet. Oh, but I'm on, on your side of the safety anyway. We did catch. Walk for your hole, eh? This? You want to go grab a 12 point ratchet? Uh, I don't. I have this one. We can get it tonight. Yeah, that one won't there. Look at the end of it. We have a couple in the drawers. I'll just get a pencil, but you want to make one and find us that special. Uh, not one of the drawers we have them. Okay. Okay. So before you get that one off, yeah. um, let me hammer it in. Yeah. Before right. you get the any bolts started, I will. I will just okay. turn oh, yeah, it yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Nice. Keep going? Yeah, she does. Okay, I can't really see. No, so you're doing perfect. Okay, tight spot. Yeah, you're getting. Okay. No, oh, that one actually went better than I thought. I, me too. I actually kind of like this style. It looks extra reinforced, easy to take out in the field. Like, this looks like the nice style of U-Toy. That's what I was thinking, how it's a different idea, uh, concept of it, and the stress points. Yeah, you want to stare on the bottom, the goes behind the left. Oh, one came out just a bit. That's all right. I'm in the way. Uh, yeah, you want to put some pressure on yours? I'm just going to give mine a couple of love pops. Eh? Yeah. And then, now here's some, I'll get some great drone footage for you too. My buddy's uh, got a nice drone. Nice. Yeah. Oh, then we cool. get, when uh, we get back from Peru here, we can uh, get all the nice footage of the truck rolling down the road, cruising, the final touch ins. I don't really have a nice drone. Mine's just a freaking. Costco one, so that's even better. I guess it's film, oh. it films in 4K, which is good enough. Like that's what my YouTube really platform is, but some guys are good on drones. My it's, drone. He's got a nice one from one. Yeah, it's like a $6,000 car. Nice. $8,000 or. Can you wreck the first one on our front here? I'll give you the ratchet. <laughs> He would see this again? He wrecked the first one? He wrecked it and filmed in one more project. Oh no! $8,000 drone. I'm on like number four, I think. Oh, yeah. But my drones are 500 bucks. That's not as bad. Yeah, and I buy insurance for 70 bucks and you get a f two free replacements in one year. Yeah, I gotta just hop out here. Oh, feels good to get those legs out of that spot. Are, I just kind of snugged them up. Is that what we're doing? Are we getting them arm ahead. tight? They just, yeah, snug them right up to where you figure like they'll be good. Once we move, we'll go through and we'll just like, once the truck actually rotates, I'll go through and retorque everything. Perfect project for me and you because these guys can handle the batteries. Tesla just re released their solar range extended trailer yesterday. It's a solar trailer that you pack that charges the battery that you can then feed into the car while you're driving. So I'm like, well, we already fucking got that. We were ahead of Tesla. So what we're going to do is put the pickup up. We're going to tow that with a pickup to show that we have a solar range extender trailer. And then we're going to hook this one onto the truck. And this is the semi range, the semi solar range extender. And that's the car slash pickup solar range extender. Like Edison Motors is already ahead of Tesla. We have the solar. This is the first time that Tesla stole our idea. <laughs> Stealing Edison's ideas. We had the solar ranger center. Like, what? If, if Elon watching my TikToks or something, yeah, and they're like, oh, Chase has got a solar lane tower trailer. Edison's got a solar trailer. Tesla better have one. We had one first, Elon. Come on. Huh, so, what exactly is this trailer you're talking about that they're doing? So, they're building. They built a solar range extended trailer. So, it's a trailer you pull behind you just to go farther. Yeah. And do they, do they actually have one for like heavy trucks? Yesterday. So you just got to be straight in line with that one that's in front of it. Problem is, we didn't mark which way we took this off either. Oh, okay. And the weight is balanced for one side to the other. Yeah. So that's going to suck. Just a guessing game. It is. I think that's about you. Uh, what do we got for a long straight edge? Uh, something like this. That's pretty damn bang on to me. That looks like the right one to me. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bang, bang. 
Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Now, where's that package? Oh boy. Oh boy, I want me that. Yeah. Thunk. That's not the shit. Hey Eric, I need a battery real bad. You got the last couple. That's definitely ARP. What? And I was fucking moving it on to the front of it. Hmm, good we felt that. <laughs> Uh, do you got any WD-40 or lube around here? Where, where was it? I do not remember. It should be oh, something in the shop or even that quick cut or something. There's something over here. We had some for drilling. Like some of the comments on the video made it. They're like, wait, you're teaching kids. Aren't you figuring this shit out yourself? <laughs> like, well, that's probably the best time to teach. We're learning together. We're all learning together here, yep. Yeah. I mean, it's only a drive line component. <laughs> Nothing gonna hurt if it comes loose, right? Yeah, <laughs> not at all. That's probably all right. Yeah, we'll give it one more for good luck. Got it? Fuck yeah. Do we, should I bring that battery back? We need it. Uh. Yeah, we're all done with it. He's using the corded one. Uh, yeah, maybe just go throw it on the shop, one of the shop chargers, actually. If he's got the corded one, because we probably may, will need it later. Yeah. All right, you ready, partner? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm going to come over and set her the floor, I think. Yep. Yeah. Well, in a second, i got to get my hand out. Okay, you want to throw those end pieces on? Where are they? Hey, he's oh, got them. them up here, okay. Holy shit, you split that finger good. Yeah. Oops, sorry about the view. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we did the right end first. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hopefully we did. Should we have done it the other way? I'm thinking so. Yeah, so get the know. hard one in first. Yeah, because it's going to take a little more articulation. Oh. Yeah, yeah, got it. Oh. Okay. There we go. I got take it. Yeah. Take that one off. Where's <laughs> that one? I'm going to pinch your dink here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, okay, I got it. Where's the end screws to be going to? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now they gotta go in almost perfectly straight, so the drive shaft is out. You got that rubber mallet handy? Uh, I think right, yeah, Carson. Okay, uh, hit the top and rotate it a little bit. This thing? No, nope, no, nope, the top of the uh, cup. Right here? Yeah. yeah. It's just not quite in line with the hole. Oops, sorry. Don't see this thing. Yeah, they can't be. Don't always pop it out and try it again. You pretty well got to get them perfectly lined up the first go yeah, around. It's going to stretch all the way across. It's not a great idea. I didn't have oh, good luck. Once thing. they're in, they're in. So, ah, uh, oh. fuck. Um, you got it. We got that screwdriver for that I used to pop it out. Don't no, screw you behind the normal video. Alishka's in Poland right now, but I couldn't convince her to go shoot a tank. <laughs> no? No. That was actually fucking sweet. That's four or five hundred bucks I ever spent. I uh, shoot a tank? Uh drive a World War II German Panther tank. Wow. Five hundred bucks got me an hour of fucking around in the tank. That is so that sweet. would be a thing.
All right, I'll hold this and we'll switch spots here. Yeah, I'll what let you get the cup in here. Yeah. Right angle there. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Make sure you don't fall on your head. Oh, not bad. Just a hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Ah, felt right. it. It's a little crooked. Action. It's a little crooked. Oh, yeah! Nice. You're good. You want me to hold back here again, sir? No, no. You got to put the bolts in now. Okay. Well. Can you see through a space on the top of here, like at the bottom? On the very bottom, yeah. Okay, yeah. There's a, yeah there's but it's against of... the uh, it's against the thing. Yeah. Here's. Yeah, she's against the cup fully, so that's good. She's seated properly. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. All right, the drive shaft is in. You should look right there and say what you just did. And drive shaft is in. And then I can use the audio one. Beautiful. Yeah. As soon as we get the batteries in, we're good to drive her. Oh yeah, there's two. Oh, the bath is a nut. That's who the nut, yeah. Bill? Yeah, get a little more. I'll put a couple more washes on the end of the nut. Bring it through, yep. Yeah. Actually, you want to go around and then we'll put a piece of rubber all the way across. I need one a little longer. Longer? Longer. Longer than that. Let's get on the other side. Oh, that should work. Try a couple. No, but I found some nuts. You got to realize, though. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's two. I'm going Uh, slider your way just a little bit. It's a little bit better when there's some rubber in there. Yeah, and it doesn't cut into the box yeah, or anything sure. like that. What exactly is that plate? It's slot the battery slot in. So that's what I was thinking. Air, you don't give me a hand. We yep. grab a battery and check it. See, make sure it actually fits. It's to hold the batteries in place. Yep. And is that like a special grade for? Cool electric or is it why why that uh, i should have went with plastic thinking about it i should have went with plastic but aluminum's conductive and that's probably not what we wanted but oh well. what's ordered is what's ordered. prototype b well everybody else made their boxes out of aluminum so i wasn't even thinking uh, you just going down the middle here i think we should just put them in that was the thing too, like if we would have made it out of plastic, it would have cost a fraction of the price too. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey! Hey! Aspen! It fits perfect, so it doesn't need much beveling. Yeah. It actually fits perfect. So don't even need that second disc. Just run that one through real quick just to get any burrs. And it is good, like a two second grind. Yeah, watch your fingers. It's exact fit. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, it's not exact. Fit. <laughs> it's most exact. Fit. It's because the box is a little odd, odd, oddly shaped. It's not so much in box. Actually, yeah. Okay, let's move it in as far, I guess. Oh, I got to bring this sled back a bit. Okay, now try. Okay, nice. Yeah. Just put a piece of rubber down there. We'll be old. Yep. Well, should we put in the first two batteries? Yeah, might as well. Thanks. Yeah.
Okay, so we're gonna alternate between rubber, battery, rubber, battery, rubber, battery. We're yeah, gonna go all the way down. Exactly that. We'll just put the first battery in because they're gonna be on the inside, right? They're gonna be sitting right this, right there. Okay, so yeah. It's okay. I'm really hoping that. that. My concern is that these are slightly too close. What is one of those worth? Like, um, what is the dollar value? Uh, about 1500 bucks a uh, battery. Uh, no. no. I think they're 1200 battery. That is a serious battery. Oh, now the question is how are you getting that voltage once you put the other battery in? Let me review the video I made before the news as well. Alright, we got the high voltage cable ran across. Next thing we just gotta set the batteries up in the shop, drive line in. Next video will probably be uh, putting the batteries in. Wires. Batteries. Okay. Oh my god, this is a ton of wires to do though. No, on a, on a serious note, this is a ton of wires. Gotta do a big shout out to Eric Cooper. Colton for doing all this wiring because like oh that's tedious that is tedious what these are these are your communication wires this is what's going to tell the computer what the batteries are doing these two big orange things are the high voltage lines that actually transfer the power to the motor so we got to connect all these communication lines together to, so the computer can know what's going on with the batteries then we connect the high voltage line that's going to tell well, that's going to move the motor but as you can see it's going to be a little bit of time to do this. 